Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to episode 6 of the new Media Challenge campaign. I can't believe it, <laughs> we've got this far in the campaign. It's been strange, it's been a very rocky road, but we got to episode 6, which I'm quite proud of. And before we begin this episode, just, quick, um, just a quick sort of apology. This episode, I was hoping to get up on Friday, but uh, I've been working a lot of hours lately. I haven't really had much time in the evenings, it's been quite, quite difficult, so... This has actually been recorded on a Saturday evening uh, after the rugby <laughs> and then it's going to be put up as soon as I'm able to put it up. So sorry for the lateness but don't worry we will crack on and in the last episode we miraculously lost uh, our settlement here, our, our capital against the Skipii but we won a chain of battles and we ended up landing in Thapsus. But this is all I have left, Hiram is the faction leader. And you got some decent traits as well, Victor in the pink, veteran warrior, decorated hero, shield bearer. We have Adonabal, a family member, we have some slingers and, yeah, just some slingers basically. Nothing else apart from that. We have a spy of course, which is always useful, which I'm going to actually use. I want to try and take Carthage. And, you know, I have to thank Biscuit's Total War, he gave me some advice to try and take Carthage in this episode. I'm going to try and remember most of it. Um, one was to actually put my general back. Oh shit. There's an army here, as I didn't notice about. Oh crap almighty. Yeah, um, <laughs> that might be difficult. Six units altogether in this in this captain's army of Carthage. We're not gonna... You see, this is where it's difficult. I need to kind of go back to my settlement to stop a rebellion. So we're gonna march there. We've got two generals. Maybe two generals might be able to do something with them. They don't really have much experience. That's the only problem. And um, we can't recruit, we're still not not, not there financially. But my point is that if I lose the media, the campaign's probably over anyway because Thapsus is. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to stand up against Hasdrubal, who I think can, he can actually reach me this turn. So we need to take Carthage. But we can't get there. Well, we could get there this turn. Right, we're going to use my spy in that case. The thing is, if I take Carthage, that delays the campaign a bit more, and I might even have a chance of rebuilding and starting anew. So let's get my spy up here. Oh, shit. Yeah, this is going to be awkward. Oh, my God. Look at the war elephants. We don't stand a chance. Do I sit in Thapsis? Oh, my God. See, I can't recruit... This is going to be the hardest part. I can't recruit anything. It's going to be a massive, massive struggle. This is probably the last part, guys. And I actually mean it this time. I, I surprised myself in the past few episodes because I kept saying that and I kept, I kept winning battles. But I actually think this will be the last part. I can't. I need to have a turn to, to actually recruit some units, get some cav, get some infantry. But unfortunately. I don't want to sit in, Thap in Thapsus either, and I don't really have the best army for defending a siege. I don't have any pikemen or spearmen or anything like that, so defending those narrow corridors is going to be difficult. Do I want to go into the open plains? I'm going to actually take uh, Biscuit's Total War advice. To, um, he said for to take my army out and to sit on the river or on the bridge. I'm looking around now to see... Where's this river? I think this is what he's on about by here, this passing. Tried to goad them to attack me. Uh, can this army... Oh, they're gone. I don't know if they can reach Demedi that turn. They might not be able to. I don't want to sit in my capital and wait to be defeated, so I want to actually take the battle to them. I can't attack them this turn, though. I can get as far as the crossing. Like, just wait there in that case. Thaps is going to be unhappy with me. What if I put you on low? Oh, God. Very high, it doesn't make, don't make a damn bit of difference, just keep it on normal for now then. Okay, so the rebels might even take that process this turn. And I th I'm afraid this may actually be the the last part. But we are reluctantly going to hit end turn. Which might be for the last time. Oh shit, it probably will be for the last time. We are being besieged at the midi. Ah oh, crap. Okay, so 453 men taken on 64. Let's sally out and go out in a blaze of glory. I don't think too 
novice generals are going to be able to to keep this city, unfortunately. Um, but we can try. We we got to try. If it's going to be the last part. It'd be nice to have one or two battles, even if I do lose them. Let's start the deployment, men of men of Numidia. You are brave men. Prove to the world that you are not cowards. Right, where the fuck are they? Holy crap. Iberian infantry, skirmishers. Let's just wander. Oh my god, how the hell am I going to... I could have stayed in the city and waited for them to come to me, but... What is the point? They can go for the city. I'm gonna go for the general instead. Because I'm that kind of guy. There we go. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for the general. They've given me an opportunity, so let's take it. Charge! Epic cavalry charge! Incoming! Boom! Ooh, a bit of lag then. That was unfortunate. We're in there though, and we are doing a little bit of damage. Unfortunately, the skirmishers are gonna get some some kills on me. Yes! Holy crap! Holy shit! Right, dude, you've done well. Now go for the skirmishers. Captain Atomic Cars, whatever his name was, was gone. And while they distracted, going for that capture point, we've got an opportunity to take out some skirmishers. Crash into the skirmishers. Route the bastards. Excellent. They've lost their general. I doubt they'll come back. We hope they won't come back. Right, dudes, you need to get, to get your asses out of there and form for charge. Holy shit. Dudes, need to run. Please run. Run for me, please. Thank you. Excellent. Right, they're shaken. They, oh, they were shaken. They were shaken, but not stirred. And it looks like the general's actually come back, which I was afraid of. And the skirmishers have come back. Oh my god, what am I doing? We must chase the Iberian infantry down. Not finishing off the skirmishers could be a massive, massive error. I'm going to actually go into the options. I think uh, I was told to turn off restrictive camera. Uh, there we go. Turn that off because that's actually something that's been hindering me. More advice again from uh, Biscuits Total War. So thank you, Biscuits. Oh, and a charge. Oh, men are in the air. Oh, and they're out there. Holy shit. Dudes, dudes, don't do this to me. Don't give me false hope. How many are the left? Six or so. Oh my god, Lord's run to charge into. Right, dudes, you need to get your asses into gear. Get your asses over there. We have some skirmishers that think they can take on, take me on, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna be too fast for them to do much damage anyway. And uh, we've taken out one unit of Iberian infantry, we've killed the general, we're doing very well, very, very well indeed. We haven't lost too many men either, but this is gonna be the challenge now. But I think we've got an opportunity, they are clustered together. Let's get the rallying cry going, guys. Not the best of charges, I must admit. Don't Feet seems certain. We're doing relatively well. We're doing very well. Oh my crap. Holy moly. Holy moly moly moly. We are out in two. We are out in all of them. Holy shit. This is too good to be true. I'm going to take one of these guys out to charge the skirmishers. Dude's got to charge the skirmishers because they're going to do damage to me if I, if I don't mop them up as well. Get in there. That's right. Route them as well. Holy crap. I am bloodthirsty. Fuck. Me. Not literally because that would be rude, but holy crap. We are killing them. Slaughtering them with two units of generals. These generals are quite quite good, I must say. That's right. Take them on. Take them all on. They've come back for more, I see. That's fine. They're going to go for a charge, they're going to be exhausted from their charge. And we'll go for a counter charge in a few moments. Matter of fact, we'll go for it now, gain some speed. In the desert, there will be two titans clashing together. Bang! Yes! Holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! 
I'm just pulling these victories up my ass at the moment. I've already killed the general, so I'm not too bothered, but we'll just chase him down anyway because we are nasty people. One of them can actually go for the other unit. Oh my goodness. Give a rally and cry, is catch him. Yes, kill him. The soldiers have brought you a Done it. Great Holy crap, I lost 13 men. I wiped out some. Look at the odds. Holy crap, look at the I had 64, 53 remaining. I killed all of them. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh my Christ. Glorious Jesus. Victory. Well, I've kept the media, so the campaign's gonna go another turn. We wipe them out. We will be wiping them out, man. And actually, oh my goodness, look at that large army there. We've got profit, which is important. Faction announcements, yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, so diplomatic information, we don't care about that. We care about ourselves, most importantly. Can I recruit anything? I can recruit stuff here, which is great, but my fear would be that losing troops. Intermediate, on the other hand, I could, oh god, peasants, it's not even worth it. Let's go back to uh, Thapsus. I'm going to have to recruit some some mercenaries, actually. I can get some mercenaries. Oh, I can get one mercenary. Two mercenaries, three. I can get four mercenaries, I think. No, I won't, I won't be able to afford that, will I? I think I get one. That's okay, that keeps, keeps things going. Oh crap, I got a chance to take Carthage. Holy shit, I got a chance to get... No, I haven't. It's elephants. I lied. <laughs> I gotta do it, though. I'm gonna have to fight this army. Oh, flaming hell. This is disappointing. Can I afford any units at all? No, not after the... I had to get mercenaries. It's important this army is as strong as possible. Okay, we'll attack Captain Gellon in, in that case. He's buggered off. We'll attack Carthage. We're doing it, guys. We're attacking Carthage. <laughs> we finally got to the gates of Carthage. We're gonna maintain the siege, of course. And my spy is kind of useless. Can't really do anything with him. Ha what does Hasdrubal have? Oh my god, it's gonna be too bad. He's a decent, uh, he's a very decent general indeed. And he has lots and lots of troops, relatively experienced, so we are going to be struggling against him once he arrives. I think he may... It depends if he goes for Thapsus or if he actually goes for me because I'm besieging Carthage to try and relieve me. If he does, the rebels might even take Thapsus. I'm going to lose Thapsus regardless, I think, when I click enter. I'm quite happy with that defence at Demedi, but I can't recruit bugger all. Um, the barracks is damaged. I need to repair the barracks, actually, which I can do. It will be done and barracks I get traveling men again so I can at least I can start rebuilding something and who knows maybe if I hold on to the midi the problem is the income will be gone so I probably won't be able to rebuild much I think if I lose Thapsus and I lose this army I probably will call this campaign a day because I don't think I'll be able to restart from the midi here and do much with what I have left so this is basically probably will be the last episode it'll be all or nothing I think we can probably end turn not much I can do now we have 11 denarii left. Oh, and we have an, a battle. Oh, shit, what's going on? Where's this battle taking place? It's in Demedi. Oh, my God. And uh, More Carthaginians are coming for me. 400 at this time against 58. Our uh, experience has gone up, of course, so we will be attacking them. Demedi. Carthage. Want more, so we will give them more. While I adjust myself on my chair. <laughs> Nearly fallen off the chair, then. Oh my goodness gracious me. It's insane. This is a Start the deployment. And again, oh we can see them this time. Probably because our experience has gone right up. I'm going to do the same thing. They're probably going to go... Let's just control A these. They're probably going to go for the capture point. So we're going to actually form up here. Going to walk away from them. Wait until there's, there's a gap. Because the general tends to sit there. The only thing is they have lots and lots of cavalry, so I can't see me doing particularly well. 
important thing is to assassinate the general though. Assassinating the general is paramount. Could go for the infantry now, but why waste an opportunity? Right, we're into position. I know they're going to go for the capture point, the little bastards, but you got to make sacrifices sometimes, and this seems like a good chime, uh, time, not chime. <laughs> That's the thing with these games, you can take advantage of them leaving an exposed general, which of course can give them a morale hit, which is what I need. Don't know if I have enough units to do this. Not the best of charges, but we got in there. They are shaken. And of course the guy and infantry then which is exposed. If we can kill the general now. Come on guys. Flees like he flees. When he's six. Yes, got him. Hell yeah. Counter charge. Please. Counter charge. Enemy general fallen. Hazard. Counter charge. Oh, and they're out in as well. Holy crap, two units and I'm decimating. Decimation, decimation, we all like a bit of decimation in the morning. Right down my own songs in this campaign. They have been steamrolled. Let's catch up with our enemies. We're gonna, gonna lose this capture point otherwise, which is rather silly. The cavalry is gonna cause me lots and lots of uh, trouble. It's gonna cause me lots of trouble, matter of fact. Should we run them into position? I don't want to over insert them, but. We are losing the capture point, I need to get there quickly, so I'm going to fast forward this. It'd be a shame now if I lost this actually, wouldn't it, but unfortunately it's the will of of the game. What do we have here? We have round shield, cav, they're all just going to camp, so let's just go for it. All they can do, they've, they've done well here actually, that was, the, that was always the risk of them taking this capture point while I went for the general, but it was my only real chance. I couldn't really just sit here and camp, I had to go out there and try and take, take him out, so we are going for a charge, and of course we will be doing that old rallying cry. Boom! And fingers crossed we can kill quite a few of them. Unfortunately we are losing the capture point. Oh, we've taken it, we've gone back in, that's okay. Holy crap, we've routed one unit. We're lo losing lots of men now though. Oh my god guys, keep going, keep going, keep going. <gasps> oh my crap! Oh my god! Guys, dudes, dudes, holy shit! Holy crap. Kill them all, kill them all, kill them all. Dudes, you are lovely, you are so lovely. You're so lovely, you're so lovely. Don't worry about the cavalry, just take on the infantry. You're so lovely, you're so lovely. Two units, and I've taken them all on. Fast forward. Get as many kills as you can, get the experience going, holy crap. I think we've probably caught all the units, have we? Yeah, let's, let's end the battle here. Oh my god. Really quit? Yes. Heroic the victory! Fuck yeah! So we... 58. 50 remaining. Crushed. 400. 324 kills. <laughs> oh. I do quite well with... I, something I've noticed, I do a lot better when I've got barely any units to micromanage. Victory. One of our large armies is difficult. Oh, and finally we got the big one. Finally, it's here. Numidia versus Carthage. I could be cruel and I could say this will go on next week, but I want to fight this. I want to do this. I've always wanted to get to this stage in the campaign. That was that's, this has been my goal to get to the walls of Carthage. We have a decent opportunity with 193 men. A decent, well, I say decent, a very good general in fact in Hiram against Bisaltes. Let's fight them. They've sallied out. Let's take Carthage. If we take Carthage, I prove all the non-believers wrong. And Baal Hamun will be praised once again in the morning. Holy crap. It is sure. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Biscuits, Sanjetsu, uh, Watcher of the Leech, Coda, Rex or so. If you're all watching this, holy crap. Right, we don't want you to hold these because that would be retarded. Cavalry is going to take a few steps back into a tight formation. You three are going to be grouped up and are going to be used to attack their Balearic Slingers. Cavalry is going to be used appropriately in this battle. 
Now let's have a good look at what they're doing. Looks like they're. It looks like we have a chance to to go for a cavalry charge. I don't think there's any men behind the wall. There are some behind the wall. Oh shit! They got elephants. That's going to be the problem in this battle. Um, let's conserve ammunition in that case. Take a step back. As expected, they are running away. Cavalry, come back. Don't charge spearmen because that would be retarded. Get back. Throw your shit at the spearmen. Holy crap, I need to try and get around the walls. This is okay. This is okay, this is very good actually. Exposed. The spearmen and the Numidian cavalry have come out excellent. The spearmen are away from them that I can go for a charge. I don't want to go and attack the spearmen with my general. And we are doing... Kill, getting kills, getting lots of kills, throwing lots of shit at the spearmen, they are shaking of course. Now it's time to pull out because we will get completely demolished if we don't. Keep throwing your shit at the spearmen, we've routed some of them at least. And now counter charge the cavalry. Holy shit, the elephants, right, this is the test. Throw it. Absolutely fucking everything at these elephants. If we can get them to go insane and charge their own men, even better. Right, dudes, pull out, regroup, regroup, regroup. Back here, please. Get here for me, please, thank you. Don't want to get involved in the spearmen, don't want to get involved in the elephants. Yeah, elephants. Holy shit, we've routed the elephants. Fuck yeah. So far, so good. Right, dudes, pull out. Exasperated at the moment. Right, get away from the spearmen. We've goaded or goaded them enough. Oh shit, the elephants are happy again. Right, dude, run. You're gonna get charged by spearmen. We don't want that. That would hurt us a lot. I'm gonna charge these elephants. They've exposed. They, they're glitching out a little bit. I think. Some of these elephants, are Blerick slingers that are broken. I'm gonna go for a charge on some of these elephants while they glitch. This might be a disaster actually. Do I want to charge the elephant? I don't think I do. Am I doing well against them? I'm losing men. I think I'm losing men. Get out of there. Don't want to fight the elephants. That's a stupid move by me. I admit when, I go, when I'm wrong and I think I'm wrong this time. They did glitch out though. I've lost lots of cavalry. Shit, get out. Dudes turn around, attack the spearmen. Right, I lost lots of cav then, that was, that was useless. I'm just going to continue using my mercenaries on the elephants while I can sling the spearmen. Oh god. <laughs> this is insane. This is so insane. It's like ten, one unit of cavalry glitch out there. Uh, let's charge the spearmen. We don't want to charge the elephants. Leave them alone. They're gonna they're gonna cause me lots of problems. I'm going for the spearmen now. Excellent. That worked wonderful. Wonder wonder yeah. It 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 worked like Wonder Woman. I right, continue throwing your shit. Oh, don't charge the elephants, do we? No, we don't. I need to use your infantry, don't I? Uh, you're not my experienced unit. You're my mercenaries. They can soak up the pressure. Under pressure. These units. Oh shit. They don't have. They have bugger all left, and the worst thing is the elephants. That's all that stands between me and Carthage. If I could get them. They have. They still haven't lost an elephant yet. They lost some elephants. Oh shit, there's more elephants. <laughs> fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. They're still throwing this shit at me as well. Oh god. Do I retreat? I don't want to retreat. I don't retreat. We 
we are going to have to take on these elephants. Charge. I'm going to regret this. I'm going to regret this. I lose my faction leader. Gonna lose. Lost this one, unfortunately. Hiramis is out of this one. In that case, withdraw. Who knows? We might get lucky. Fuck. Here when that happens. Bodyguard. Fame withdrawal. We're gonna go for the general. We have a good experienced general here. Mommy. Oh, we stopped. Perfect. Charge. I saw a chance for the general. I've taken it. Don't have many men left. I'm gonna regret this. Please. Please. We've lost this one. Hiram's gonna die. He's the last one there. Get out, Hiram. Lots of hit points, mind. Oh, he's dead. Hiram is dead. Oh shit. This campaign is over, guys. <laughs> I think this campaign is well over now. Those are war elephants. If, th if they didn't have war elephants in Carthage, I would have probably taken Carthage. But I just couldn't get past them. Cavalry wouldn't have been a problem. But I lost too many men. I went for a charge. I knew it was a, ba a bad decision, but I had to... I had to basically take it. I'm just going to fast forward this, let like, all my men go off the field because there's no point charging them in. I knew I wasn't going to get past those war elephants. And unfortunately, as you can see, they're very well guarded. Two units of them as well. I think I killed... I definitely killed a few of them. There's a few of them dead, but... Two units of war elephants. Even one would have been... A, actually, they got more than two. They got three units of war elephants. <laughs> one were there, one but. So as you can see, three units of war elephants are too much. One might have been enough, but three with what I had, what I brought to the table, just was too much. Oh god. It's a shame as well, but I thought I was hoping to take Carthage. But this just proves how difficult this campaign is. The fact that I got this far is an achievement in itself. As Carthage comes out. Ooh, I wonder if I can ninja the city. Oh, I probably won't be able to. Even now, I have optimism <laughs> with 12 men remaining. <laughs> They've taken everything out. Any other gates I can. Wouldn't be able to get through the gates. I wouldn't even get. No, they got cavalry there. Just retreat. Wouldn't be worth it. I was thinking then, could I get around them and get in the city somehow? Ninja the city, but that's not going to happen, guys. Can't see it happening. We might even get caught and taken out. Will we get to the line in time? I thought oh, I think we will. Just about maybe my twelve men will survive. Yay. <laughs> so clear defeat. Um we actually killed more men than them. We killed 182 compared to 170. But as you can see we we've got eighteen men remaining, which is terrible. Not enough to take Carthage, unfortunately. Oh, and we're gonna lose Thapsus now as well. We are going to lose Thapsus. The siege is broken. Other moves, Unless they don't attack. Oh, they've taken Thapsus. They just walked straight in and took Thapsus. And it's, it's disappointing. It's, it's, uh, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Faction leader, of course, Hiram is now dead. Stoic philosophy. Let's just do the rounds to all these uh, news. The barracks is completed. Alliance announced. Faction announcements. Tabernet is a new faction leader. And he's got married as well. End of term we are of course now. Lost lost a little bit of money because we lost Thapsus. My spy is My useless spy up here I think. Um, the Skeepy I have a strong army here from a few episodes back and I won't be able to take that. And all we're left with is Demidi which can't... Well we can recruit some javelins but is it worth it really? Probably not. You know it's, it's a big ask. Two units I have to sally out at some point, otherwise you're just going to be sat here, clicking end turn, clicking end turn. I mean, I could do that, I could recruit, I could end turn. See what Carthage does. I just got too much power. Oh shit, I got a general, but I didn't even see him there. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Maybe I can ninja Carthage after all, with one unit. Where did he come from? Don't remember having him there. Maybe I put him there in episode 5. 
but you know I can I can keep well I can't recruit anymore now as you can see I've only got enough for one unit of javelin and three units and one settlement it's just no chance at least when I was down to one settlement last time I had enough of an army to make an impact and take some cities this guy is Adonabal oh he has a uh, slingers with him as well and he's just gonna well, he's surrounded by everyone basically he's just gonna charge in he's gonna lose of course Oh, he's still alive, my god. Relentless. Relentless. So yeah, I'm going to end the campaign. We got to episode 6. I think we did pretty well. I'm not the most experienced player when it comes to Rome Total War. Um, I'm probably at my best in Total War when it comes down to the newer games, especially Shogun 2. I can play Shogun 2 on, on Legendary and be quite comfortable with it. It is still a challenge, but it, with with Rome going with going back to Rome one, it, it is you know even more of a challenge on the hardest difficulty, and with a faction which is probably one of the hardest to play as in Rome one. We don't really have any decent infantry. We don't have any infantry at all to start off with. You have just cavalry and your generals and of course slingers so and javelin men. So it is it is difficult. You do have to kind of form your own kind of your own kind of way of fighting, which I think I did in this campaign, to, especially towards the end, last few parts. I used my cavalry to great effect and was able to break and route and do chain routes as quickly as I could on the generals. And that was my tactic then and I think it got me so far, certainly got me to episode 6 by fighting that way. So I've definitely learned something new in this campaign, a new way to fight in Rome 1. I've really enjoyed it, it's been probably the most refreshing campaign that I've that I've done and you know with with the, being a YouTuber like myself, you know you, you do campaigns on Total War games and to be honest, a lot of the time they do go stale after the first two or three or four episodes, and sometimes it's hard to keep an audience interested. But it, you know, I have to thank you guys so much. You've you've kept watching, you've kept clicking the play button, episode ep after episode, week after week, and it's been it's been fantastic. The support has been fantastic. Biscuits Total War, take a bow. You've been fantastic organizing this event. I look forward to future challenges. You're doing a fantastic job with Total War Network. Same with Rex as well, you know, you're doing a fantastic job on your channel and also with helping uh, Biscuits Total War with the update videos. And also to people like Coda, Watcher of the Leash, you've done fantastic as well in your campaigns. I've watched quite a bit of Watcher of the Leash, he's, you know, he, he's taken basically, if I could bring this map up here on the left hand side, lots and lots of uh, land has been taken. You've got people in the, doing these campaigns who have been going into Italy and taking Rome itself and taking the Romans on, so, you know, the effort that's gone into these campaigns and these videos is absolutely phenomenal definitely check out all the names I'm actually gonna put them on the screen here for you guys to see when I edit this video check out all the links to these channels and all these channel names they're in the description as well the links to them because they've been fantastic the videos that have been on offer have been fantastic and you know this is what I love about the Total War Network a chance to give small channels like myself like Rex, but Biscuits, Watcher of the Leash, Coda all of you guys, you know, you've been fantastic. It's a chance for you to get exposed on YouTube a little bit, perhaps gain some more viewers and subscribers. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we do this because we love it, but also because we want people to watch it. And if no one's watching, it can sometimes feel like, you know, you're in your bedroom, your living room, on your computer or laptop, talking to yourself, which is basically what I'm doing right now. But I know that people will watch this because of this campaign, and that's really, really great. So once again, thank you for watching. I look forward to competing in the next challenge when that's announced. I've been Dragonheart, until next time, goodbye.